Hello, sweet friends. Welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. For today's video, I am featuring dies from the September 1st, 2024 release at Scrap Diva Designs. I will have links in the description box below to the dies to make it easy for you to shop should you decide to purchase any of these dies. They are affiliate links. They do not cost you anything to use, but they do help me and my channel, and I appreciate it so very much. You can also use Carol 10 at checkout. So the first die that I used for today's project is the, it's called the Witch Shoe Jelly Bag. And you can see I had some extra cut out. I, I forgot that I, I only needed uh, four and I cut out five, but that's okay. I'll have it for next time. And I had gone over this in a previous uh, video on the size and everything of this. So I'm not going to open that up. And then I did uh, Halloween words number four. And you'll see how I use that. And then this is such a cute die. I had to use it again. It's spider bow number two. And then I have an oldie but goodie. And this is the small mailer. And I use that in this project. Before I pull my project into view and share it with you, let me just say if you are new or this is your first time here, my videos feature lots of paper crafting ideas and tutorials. If this is something you enjoy, won't you consider subscribing? I'd love to have you back. And for all my returning friends and subscribers, welcome back. I appreciate your support and comments. So, I had shown in a previous video this particular jelly bag and now it is full and ready to be given as a gift and I'm giving this in a secret exchange on a cruise and I filled it up. Oh, I didn't show you this. This is the little uh, ghost die and I don't have it here um, with me, the ghost tag. I forgot to show you that one, but I will have a link to it in the description box. So this is the one I had shared previously and now it is full. I tied this uh, little netting that you can get at the Dollar Tree on there and I hang, hung my little tag on there. I'm gonna write the person's name on the back. And then I had done these little uh, pencil things a while ago and I stuck one in the bag. Um, this is the small mailer. And inside I have my bracelets that I make. There's a set of five bracelets in there. And uh, but just wanted to pop that open to show it to you. Got a little witch on the top. Uh, I have some uh, hand sanitizer. Then I did uh, these little lipstick holders there's some lip balm in here and I put that little guy on there I have some candy and uh, we love these hooks uh, when we're cruising because you can put these up in your room and hang your lanyard and your uh, hats and things like that off of it I hang jewelry off of mine too to uh, yeah to, to keep it all organized and then I had shown you these before, and these are the little um, tags. I had previously made this. Uh, I forgot what this one is called, too. I'll have a link to this one because you are. this is a repeat C on this, but I just wanted to show you that it goes with the little bracelet and what I put into this bag. So it holds a lot. So I got bracelet, earrings, candy, uh, lip balm, a hand sanitizer, pencils, and a hook. And that is ready to go on my trip. Very cute, right? Put it down here. So I made several different ones. Here is another one. And here is where I uh, used the bow on this project. And of course, it's got the same thing in it, just a little bit different on the uh, earrings and the bracelets. Very cute. I love this picture of this. This is for my porch prints. It is the Fall Halloween Girls, Cottage Girls or Cottage Kids, it's called. 
I have another one here. This one I did in purple. And here's the bow again. And the little ghost tag goes really well with this. I love this color. It looks really pretty. I also have this one here. Again, with the bow flowers and the little girl again. And of course, I did put little girls on the mailers. I just cut them down so that they would fit because they all had legs, but I cut their legs off <laughs> so that it would fit. And that's that one. And then last but not least, I have one more. And this one is uh, for a guy. So I didn't want to do too much uh, girls on it. So I put a jack-o'-lantern in this. So I'm not sure if the guy is alone or if he has... Uh, his wife with him or what have you but I did not put bracelets and earrings in here because it did not specify so I have a uh, phone holder that is a uh, waterproof and luggage tags and uh, different things like that for a guy and I thought this came out cute as well so that's that one this one this one and this one, in case I didn't show it well enough. And then of course the first one that I made. So thank you all for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this project share. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Remember to sprinkle kindness like confetti wherever you go. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye-bye.